Thank you for joining us here at Tax Talk UK, where we talk about all things tax and other important aspects of being self-employed and running your small business. So today I'm going to talk about the scenarios um, when your class two national insurance may not appear on your tax calculation and um, what to do about that. And before I talk about that, if I could please ask you to take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel, that way you will easily be able to refer back to this information if you need to, as well as be able to find other information that we have on a whole wide range of topics, all aimed to um, support you in your self-employment and running your small business. Um, you'll find them um, catalogued um, in our playlist, um, which should help you to find the information that's relevant to your specific um, situation. So back then to class two national insurance. So you will remember from other um, videos where we've talked about national insurance for the self-employed, that if you are trading as a sole trader, there are actually two types of national insurance that will be relevant to you. So your class two national insurance is a set um, few pounds a week um, subscription and um, your class four national insurance is actually a percentage based on your self-employed um, profits. So I'm specifically um, talking about the class two um, national insurance today. So those who have been self-employed for a long time will remember um, that um, previously the class two national insurance was collected separately to the self-assessment um, tax and the and the class four national insurance. And you just simply had a direct debit or sometimes paid manually on a weekly, um, monthly, quarterly um, basis as, as was convenient. And then um, some time ago now, the, um, the system changed so that your class two national insurance would be collected and assessed along with your, um, your tax and your class four national insurance. Um, as part of your self-assessment tax return. So um, the idea behind that is because, of course, it's easier and simpler to just keep on track of, of um, one calculation that tells you everything. And it also gives um, a portal to enable you to check where you are um, with things. Um, back in the times when you paid your class two national insurance um, separately, there was no way of checking um, if you'd missed a payment or um, if you were if you were sort of behind on where you um, needed to be within the year, of course, um, finding out whether you've got a qualifying year overall for, for um, state pension purposes is, is, is a different subject that we've covered in a different video. So I shan't um, go on, um, into that uh, again here. So with your class two um, national insurance, um, you might be aware that if you have um, a, a low income of self, in, self um, from, from being a sole trader, self-employed, then you um, possibly may be exempt from your class two um, national insurance. And you can find out what the exemption um, thresholds are each tax year on gov.uk. I'll pop a link in the description to this video so you can see. Um, and um, that is well below the personal allowance for, for tax. So it could be that um, you are um, over the threshold have to pay class two national insurance, but under the threshold to have to pay tax or potentially class four um, national insurance. Um, so, um, as I mentioned earlier, in order to pay your um, class two national insurance, um, this is included in your ca tax calculation and simply is paid um, along with your tax to your self-assessment account. Now, you um, there may be times where you um, fall below the threshold um, so you don't have to pay um, your class two national insurance, but you may choose to pay this um, voluntary. Um, now, the times where um, the and the specific example that um, prompted this um, video was someone who actually earns above the um, the threshold 
Um, so they should they should be paying class two national insurance, but they noticed that when they did their um, tax return, they looked at their calculation, there was no amount on there for the class two national insurance. So they weren't sure and they thought that it might have been a button that they hadn't ticked on their tax return. But actually, um, this is quite common if um, HMRC aren't aware that you're the sole trader. Uh, and therefore it won't pull through um, and it wouldn't, if you're below the threshold, it wouldn't allow you to select um, to pay voluntary contributions either. So it seems um, you, you might think it seems, well, it's obvious. I, I've been uh, I've been um, self-employed for a few years and um, I submit self-employed accounts, but that wouldn't trigger um, the correct national insurance record um, to be set up. So. Um, it all would go back to when you first registered as um, as a sole trader, whether you actually registered for the class two um, national insurance. So the way that you would know that you have done that correctly is that class two um, national insurance is present on your calculation or if you're earning below the threshold. Um, that it will allow you to select voluntary contributions. And actually, if you um, if you find that that's not the case, it's as simple as making a call to the self-assessment helpline to let them know um, and ask that they open the record for your class two um, national insurance. And this is important um, be because um, sometimes people think oh, it's only a small amount and and so they they sort of forget about it but of course um depending on what other income that you have and how many qualifying years you already have for your state pension it could be that um those are valuable for you and will make the difference between whether you get your full state pension um when you come to um to the relevant age or not so it is really important um, although you can make up um, and pay voluntary contributions backdated for um, to cover gaps in your insurance, that will be more expensive. So it's really important. And of course, if you're over the threshold um, so that you actually are required to pay the class two national insurance, then it's important that you're paying your correct um, liability, because, again, it may um, not seem a large amount for one year, but if you find that you've not paid it for a, for a few years, then that could be a problem. And of course, we want all of our um, tax records to be completely up to date, everything in order. Um, HMRC know exactly um, what to expect, what we're doing, so that all of our liabilities are calculated. So hopefully that explains if you're either not seeing your class two national insurance amount on your tax calculation and you think that it should be there, or you're below the threshold and you're trying to um, select a voluntary to make a voluntary um, class two national insurance contribution it won't let you hopefully that helps explain um, and uh, and as I say very simple to um, to um, to sort that I'll also pop the link in the description um, uh, making a phone call to the self-assessment helpline is going to be the quickest way um, to resolve that but if you've got plenty of time um, but you're not able to get through on the phone then you can just drop them the form and I shall pop that in the um, description along with the thresholds for you. So thank you very much um, for watching. If you have found this information helpful, please do um, please do like the video. That helps us to understand um, as the as the volume of questions um, builds. It helps us to understand which topics uh, are, are appreciated by the by the most um, people and where we should focus and where we should prioritise answering. Although of course we do try to answer as many of the questions and cover as many of the topics. Um, that we can. So thank you very much for watching. Take care. Goodbye.